how did you and Chris meet? Yeah. <laughs> we, we had mutual friends who got were getting married. <laughs> My best friend, uh, Elizabeth, and his best friend, Zach. And they had told us for six years that we were going to hate each other, so they never introduced us. Yeah. <laughs> I told my friend, told her, she said, Chris dates really hot girls. And she said, she said Chris, she said, Elizabeth only dates guys from other countries. <laughs> so we were like, we met, and the first time we met, nothing. The second time we met, I like, I called him, I was like, I, hi, hey, how you doing? So yeah, I, I, I chased him for a good month. Is that how you remember it? I really it was the first best first date ever. Oh, oh. Check, wait, wait, chest of Okay. Wait, you won. Did you let him do that? Seven times. No. I've beat him since. As a matter of fact, I got a chuck bait five moves last time. But other, the last, the other seven times. <laughs> find that after um, you know Lost and B and even ER that you are called for a role without even reading for it or you still have to audition like everybody else? Oh, it it's, it's both. Yeah. yeah, it's both. I mean, sometimes I'm called for things and sometimes I'm not. Mm -hmm. I, it, it just depends. And, it, and there's really no rhyme or reason right. about it. I'm called in for the big budget things. I'm called for low things. I'm, I, I need to audition for it. It just depends. Right. I, I love to audition. I would prefer to know that we, we're on the same page. Right. Um, but, and because you know, you get an offer, and who knows? Right. What if they hate you? They can't do anything about it. True. You know, <laughs> neither can you. Right. You're, you're stuck. Right. So, I, yeah, I don't have a problem going around. Yeah, what was the uh, process for Answers to Nothing, which is the latest independent film you were in? It, it fit really nicely into the schedule. Yeah. They, they called them. That's it. That was fun. The great cast, in, you know, Julie Benz and yeah. all of them. And Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Dave Cook. Cook. Oh, I'm so sweet. He has his own show now. He does his own show on Yeah, I heard it here. Yeah. Yeah, he should. Yeah. Yeah, he had one heck of a couple of years. So yeah. 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 He's a sweetheart. I enjoy him. I think he's misunderstood. Yeah. Well, he watches his show. Yeah. 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 He's, he's sweet. Right? He's like, he's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was in the past. A lot of mediums are really sad. And well, he's yes. actually all right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you, you talk very fondly about people that you work with. Um, have you ever work with someone that you don't like, you know, not necessarily so, but, or are you the kind of person who just finds the good in everybody? You, I'm not asking you to name anybody. No, I, I have to say, I think, um, I just heard someone, someone with the other day say, I think I'm the most fortunate person in the world. Um, and I don't know if that's true, but I think I'm the most fortunate so hard when we're when we're acting and uh, the people other people find difficult I don't I think it's their process um, and they work they're all working so hard as long as people are working hard I, I don't really care you know there's a lot of people who are super wounded who are in the business and um, a little bit of kindness goes a long way um, there was an actor that I worked with who had his stand-in read all his all my close-ups with me and and uh, the guy had a very hard time reading the lines, and he had, and the guy sat off stage drinking a beer. So he wasn't happy. <laughs> um, but that's that's been an exception to the rule. I have been uh, really intrigued by everybody, and and people, other people perceive as difficult have been really easy for me because I feel like it's what we're doing. We're doing it together. I mean, I'll be their advocate as long as I can, and they don't hurt any of my crew. You know, when people are mean to the crew, I get pretty. Um, I can be. I can be. Very mean, actually, if someone's bothering my crew. <laughs> so, um, it's like, you know, it's like, I'll be kicking. So, <laughs> that I don't love. But, but no, I think I like, I like, I like, I would say 98% of all of that. Percent. And that's just Thank you. Mm -hmm. so what, what would be, like, is there a dream role or a dream director? We're just talking about that. A script or that, that, that <laughs> Would just say, if I could just do this, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, probably not. I'm so, I wouldn't say people, but I, I, there's so much that I love. Um, I've always wanted to have a very uh, literate action hero. I've been really kind of thought that was really, really fun. Um, and I would be that person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, like, it's going, aren't you great? <laughs> um, I've been 
to do that. Something really smart, uh, clever, lovely, um, and, um, and and uh, I think smart being a keyword. That would be super fun for me. Um, and then we were just saying, like, quantum leap. You know, all those things where you get to do different things every time. It could be really interesting. But there's a lot of roles on, on in the data that I would like to do. I mean, well, I think that's something like, um, I read a lot of mysteries. Me too. I can kind of see you as a DJ or Chowski kind of mm -hmm. You know, I love that. Or, yeah. Um, that's great. Start so. writing it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are great. Those are wonderful. Yeah, she's yes. she's sexy. You know? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I do. I love I love women who, who speak their minds. Okay. It's very easy for me once other people just work. So it goes really well. But yes, I love that. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons I think I read so heavily on that side, because I'm really interested in getting something in a depth in it. There's been a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's not a lot of over forty action heroes in books though, for women. A lot more for men, but not for a lot of I think of women. she's that age. Perfect. Well, that's, see, no, that's, that's fun. That's what I read. She was getting up, getting up there. <laughs> Good. No, I, I love that. It's, 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 it's only because um, it's fun. You know, it's fun for me. And I, I think there's a lot of questions there. You'd think you'd be able to say, well, that was a little easier. But how much have you felt? <laughs> You had a question. Yeah, I actually just wanted to ask it, but I'll okay. <laughs> follow it up with something. Spe mm -hmm. Speaking of sort of smart roles, have you ever been approached for or asked about Fringe? Good question. Fringe is terrific. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Answer. No, I. Season <laughs> <laughs> five. Um, no, I don't think I have. But um, what is the lead character's name? Anna. Anna. Um, it? Olivia Dunham. Olivia Dunham. Yeah, it's Tor. It's the lead. And it's right. So Anna and I did a uh, our thing. Together for a, a talk, mm -hmm. um, and I found her to be really exceptionally uh, intelligent and fun and kind. So I, I relish the opportunity to work with her. But mm -hmm. I, I hope you you were actually the first when I saw friends the first time. You were actually the person that I hoped would mm -hmm. would be in the role of Olivia. Oh, thank you. It, it's, it's a lovely uh, compliment. Well, and you look good in black. So. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I do. Lo I love. I love those kinds of roles. I mean, she's obviously. Truly lovely as an actress, but I all of those roles are intriguing to me. I think I like the idea of, of moving and, and strong women, and I like enjoying running out there. Physical activity is fun for me. Like all of us beating each other up for a couple hours, like and missing, like it's, it's kind of hard. And <laughs> it's definitely a workout. And um, and after a night of like running and then having all this, your adrenaline is pumping so high. <laughs> it's so good because you know they really are trying to hit you. You're just you're just trying to make sure they don't hit you too hard. So it's really fun. <laughs> well, Game of Thrones. Oh, I, I, oh, did you read all the books? I'm I'm in the fifth one now. It's so good, right? I think I think you're charming and adorable, but. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so good. Joffrey thank was your you. son. <laughs> yes. Oh, good luck. Yeah, yeah. no, it's were you approached? No, you? I think I was shooting V. Not to say that they would have approached me. That's not any kind of other. Oh, of course I would have. But <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I, I read it and I thought it was amazing. I was like, what a great role. My kids haven't eaten <laughs> for weeks. <laughs> so. Yeah, we just finished that. Uh, all the mad men. Yeah, on Netflix, so we're uh, mm -hmm. a little sad. That was last night, too. So. Uh, <laughs> really, when you have a six and a half old, oh, really dumb. Like, really dumb. I woke up this morning with that horrible sick, four o'clock in the morning, we're feeling like, it's no coffee. <laughs> so, but it was great. I watched TV for my mad We've got um, another show that comes to Vancouver called Once Upon a Time. There's, yeah, I mean, but I'd like to see the same people right. from, from, uh, from Boston, from... Yeah, I think that show was terrific. I it's fun to see you take down the evil queen. I don't know, maybe a white yes. queen against the dark queen. A white queen, I think that would be so fun. I enjoy, I enjoy watching him. He's really good. Chris uh, coaches Jared on that show. Oh, really? He, yeah. He was, the more, he was Draper's son the first yes. season. Yes. He's yeah. coached him from the very beginning. So oh, wow. I, I get the scripts all ahead of time. He's a good one. Not that he lets me read them. But right. <laughs> They're in red, I'm sure. Yes. But, yeah. but sure. it's really fun. And he's such a good coach. It's fun to watch the, the, the progression. Yeah. I'm just fishing. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, what about music? Do you have any bands and musicians that, that motivate you and act? I, 
just saw the most amazing concert I have ever seen in my life, and I've seen a lot of concerts. It was Brandy Carlisle singing with the orchestra. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't even begin to tell you what an experience it was. Everyone in the audience was moved. People were on their feet. It was. I, I have. It was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. So I love that. But I'm definitely a '60s, '70s rock girl. I mean, the yeah, Elvis Stones and. You're red. <laughs> you're the character. You're like, you're yeah, actually, um, <laughs> for Juliet, oh, I think that's really rough stuff for her. <laughs> 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 I probably shouldn't say. But, um, yeah. Like Ozzy? Like, what is this? No, I listened to, yeah, I did. I listened to anything that was because, to me, there was such a cacophony in her head, um, and she wasn't, <coughs> everything was underneath. So the stuff I, I mean, she's so chaotic that I needed that crazy music to get me home. I, I listened to a lot of Nine Inch Nails with her, um, and I felt like that was pretty yeah, right on. Yeah, I thought that was great. But but that was odd. And then for, for um, James, I listened to or Sawyer, I listened to um, country music. Right. <laughs> and that was really fun. Actually, I told him I was. He's like, oh well, good little bird, good. He'd come into my trailer and he'd be like in his jeans and no shirt. I'm like, this is. This is wasted on me. <laughs> and he'd have his guitar, he'd be like, all right, little bird, let's sing. And so sweet. Like, you want your little bird? That's yeah, because awesome. my voice is so high. Aww. Yeah, some might say. Well, there's a folk singer named Elizabeth Mitchell as well. There is. Yeah. Yes. Tell me. I wish. You Google Elizabeth Mitchell, you'll get her, and then the other one. Yeah. And yeah. 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 so I'm the folk singer, and then the Yeah, now I know how long I've been on TV, not on TV. Ah, but I just found out there is also a Canadian opera singer named Elisa Oh, I'm going to claim to be her. I usually tell people I'm a housewife. Right. Because I feel like that confuses everybody. Because I am. So I tend to be like, I am a domestic goddess. So. And Elizabeth Banks, the actress, changed her name. Her real name is Elizabeth yes. Mitchell. Yes. Elizabeth She's Mitchell. So, so she changed her name so that she wouldn't have to be confused with you. Not, there's anything true. wrong with being confused with you. Well, no. You know. No, she's... I love watching She's, her. She's did you see the Hunger Games movie? Yeah. Did you like it? I did like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably yeah. yeah. I thought yeah. they did a good job. You guys, Hunger Games fans? Yeah. We did the, the premiere for the library fundraiser. Oh, nice. Hunger Games. Yes. That was lovely. And Allie dressed up. Yeah. I'm Effie. And the, I, oh. I did all of I, like I did my daughter and a bunch of girls and Effie. I love, love it. That. That's great. That's great. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do it all the time. I do it on Halloween though, I don't. Because you know on Halloween, Los Angeles, I'm so <laughs> sexy. I'm like, a I'm like one in like a big bag from like head to toe. I'm like, Rawr! I'm like this, you're not doing this right. <laughs> like, okay. You have to disguise yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Or fish. Right. Yeah. 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 Is that how it is up in Bainbridge on Halloween? Well, it depends on the age group. Yeah. I think so. You know, people are pretty coupled up here. Yes. <laughs> I believe we're going to um, now break and we are going to have some time to actually have some water. And we're going to do autographs and do it. pictures. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody wants to save a picture, picture. Yeah. Um, yeah. and autographs, we'll have some time for that. Let's do all of this. Okay.